Good day guys, Kami here, welcome back to Langriza and, and this is from the CN server and what you're looking at right now is a new loading screen from the 5th anniversary server this is, well Langriza moving on to 6.0 I guess this is the door from the other side and the color of this image here is kind of there for a reason and contains some spoiler which I'll fill you guys up on the next part of the video so on this part of the video we'll be going through on this month's exclusive items which is for the month of August to March I guess Oh, sorry, there's a wrong site. Normally, we will check through the aircraft light. We'll be going through the ev some of the events that will happen and some things to look out for. So, okay, is for the month of August itself only. So, apparently, after some um, cuts and pieces here for certain month, we are only only getting 28 days for Apotosis, aka the Chaos Bringer. Alright, let's check out the exclusive first for the month of August. So they're trying to switch the dates back to track again. So for this month, we have two items. One is from Elmo 2.0, aka Bring of Like. And on the right, we have Yanni Yanni aka and the Kelmo for both items is one it's an helmet, one it's a clothes. So I'll go with Elmo first. Um sorry, Elma 2.0 or Bring of Light first because um a Yanni exclusive is kind of special because it went through some changes which I'll get back to you guys in a while. So moving to the items, so this is known as End Fire of Protection Hope or Protection Wishes. It's a helmet for the Lightbringer and the effect and it's our exclusive um, the effect is known as mirror, mirror Brilliance Baptism. Okay, the effects provide you HP, so at max rank or items value is going to be providing 10% HP. The effect as follows whenever you have one layer of mirror like, your unit's damage deal will increase by 2%. For each layer so the maximum is five which is ten percent at the end of a turn if you have five layers of mirrors light you will provide an hue for the teammate with the lowest HP and the healing value is 2.5 times your intelligence so overall currently before the pre S16 meta, it is not going to be very useful based on the dis discussion with the pro pro players or pro scenes currently ongoing right now. So there's the the S16 has not start yet, and more if not most of the pro players, the recommendation is that this item is not very great. First off, it is helmet. And you need to have the criteria met with is to have five layers of your mirror light. Then when you enter, you will heal teammates with the lowest HP at 2.5 times of intelligence. The amount is considered great, not bad. Um, this is definitely better compared to characters like the milking hammer from Yuria 
Oh, he's a weaker. Let us check and find out. Okay, it's definitely weaker because it's um, 2.5 times only. But if you can use this too, you can actually stack with this milk hammer and you'll be gaining 5.5 times, which is a lot of healing. However, Lightbringer is a tank. She, the, the, still right now, the current meta going on, the best item to go with her is the helmet that gave her HP recovery. Um, which most of you should have known what it is that um, both her and Sherry always use. They will recover HP before battle if you're using a mixed unit. So that items increase her survivability in the battle. But of course this exclusive who knows might be better. Uh, as new updates goes on so yeah, that's it for her exclusive is a helmet though it will be apparently it is greater or better to make it as a, a dress clothes or accessory items instead of helmet so she can have better survivability however the great thing is that this items it was said to be able to stack, she can heal herself too. Any allies with the lowest HP. So all right, we can do some checking, comparing with the talent of Elmida. Some say yes, some say no. Let's check out how Elmida's talent says. Yep, Elmida's talent is written as heal other allies with the lowest HP while the bringers of light exclusive item just written as heal allies with the least HP so yep, it should heal herself and that's it for bring of light Slightly increase for damage, but um, that's not what she really need. She need durability because she's a tank. Okay, moving on to Under Camel, aka Yanni. Okay, this is known as Wow. It's hard to translate. I guess you can go with Sea of Mystery, though I want to use that, but well there's no C directly translated, so I'm gonna go with um, Mystery of the Great. Okay, well, anyway, you guys are more concerned about the effect. All right, so it's a uh, dress. Apparently, it's great. Finally, they are giving dress instead of helmet. This is known as judging door or judgment doors. Okay, it's an item that provides HP and again at max stats, it provides you 10%. The effect is follow if allies are at allies door which is from her talent the teleportation door when they enter they'll obtain increased attack and intelligence by 20 percent and that's like a free buff faction buff and the effect lasts for two turns is like the buff effect of from the skill strengthen or mass strengthen and all enemies unit whose moving pattern it's not flying when they attempt to cross areas two blocks around the door 
for each step they move, they need to spend an extra movement, meaning if you can move four steps while you're two blocks around the door, you can now move one only. So FYI, this is a nerf version of this exclusive. The original version has a much overwhelming or overpower effect because first off the original exclusive items is that if you open two doors at the same time the effect of the movement reduction can stack uh, this is a test that has been done on characters like Leon that when you open two doors in front of Leon, he can only move two blocks. And previously, when Yanni Yanni perish in battle, and if the door is still there, if your allies travel and end their turns on the door, they will still receive the attack and intelligent buff effect. However, right now, currently, um, it is um, greatly nerfed. So one, if Yanni perish from the battle, you will no longer receive the attack and intelligence increment effect. And second is that the door effect no longer stacks. So um, the two doors is considered as one, so the effect won't stack. It can only happen um, to one, so that's it. So meaning if Leon is a movement of five, he can still travel three. And if he try to act again or move from far, he will not be affected. And apologize, I'm not able to test it because I, I didn't get this exclusive just to share with you the effect. But nonetheless, the important things you got to know is that First thing, when allies travel on the door, you get attack and intelligence increment, which lasts for two turns. And second, if enemy's movement pattern is not flying, if they travel through the door when they are near two blocks around it, for each block they try to move, they will consume one block of movement. So, yep. And things to showcase with you guys is this event. So, okay, we have two events which are being released for the month of August. One is The Legend of Almeida, which kind of bring a lot of tributes or parody from a lot of games, animes like Super Robot Wars, Gundam Wing, Gao Gaiga, Evangelion, or Evangelion, something called. Um, about the story of Languiza 1 to 5 and also reincarnations and one special thing to take note is that this time around for this event because it's a very special event there's a hidden stage where you got to pass through all uh, you need to find all hidden objective or portal in this game storyline so instead of the usual seven stories seven parts there is eight parts to it and the eight part is considered a hidden stage it will not be disclosed unless you find all the hidden elements in the stage and this next event right now will be known as the event that is going to be that is being introduced during the anniversary video is known uh, I'm got roughly translate as the war of the mirror universe because it is and this is basically the new dimension expedition the DE this is a single player DE event where long story short those story plays as in this world chaos wins and dominates all and he is destroying a lot of stuff so as we play through we are supposed to cleanse the effects 
or power left by clay, chaos so that we can make this land clean and pure again i have not start the event and apparently it based on what i heard it may not be that easy however the great news is that there's no longer a group or team de dimensional expedition so there will be less quarrel amongst group mates i guess and next thing it's what is not really mentioned in the anniversary video is regarding the casting level 6 to 10 so right now we have an introduction of new casting level 6 to 10 and before you guys panic just you know that for this core effect all you need to do is just unlock everything to level 5 and you can gain your casting skills or runes emblem casting or runes emblem i, I know the glo global name it as casting so yep once you hit level 5 you can still unlock the skills for the characters that the game has already um, released the new skills patches on so don't have to worry that you must get to level 10 to get it but just to showcase to you guys about the cost so now we'll be moving to level 6 onwards so they released three new casting items so as you can see one is a blue then the other one is purple and there's one more that looks like magnecta like pinkish we, we shall find so as you can see it is no long yeah it's, it's definitely very expensive from now on so you guys can see how much it's cost 190,000 then we have this breakdown this casting items known as breakdown so it's I'm not sure if this is pink or purple to me it looks like purple so it jumps by 50,000 okay this is the last items that you get okay this is actually red uh, pinkish red I guess there's known as bright right bright light sorry so the blue is okay Charles. okay I gotta apologize I can't think of a translation right now but yep this is known as break dawn and this is bright light or fair light so as you can see each cost right now will has an increment of 50,000 and oh my god coming to level 8 it increases to 70,000 and now one press is 400,000 that's very expensive and now we come to the max so this is the very not um, player friendly yep I guess that's the term is definitely not player friendly because um, it consumes a lot of gold and this thing is definitely more for PvP instead of PvE because they kind of cap the difficulty around PV stages so this casting is definitely more for PvP it is like I'm gonna say it's very user unfriendly because of the cost because newer players want to get into the pvp scenes have to spend more getting more gold because this is only spending for one items so back to Bernhard again the okay maybe we use grenier as okay some Okay, I guess not. Okay, so only characters like like Bernhard and you can see characters like Calvary Leon they can use at least dual items. So you will be spending more on such characters, whereas the armor accessories and helmet are still the same. 
but um, because they have extra items, uh, weapon slots, you need to spend an extra amount of value. So compared to characters like Oops. All right, there are characters that are pure mage. Let me see if I can give you guys an example. Nope, this is a very bad example. Ah, okay, you see, um, but cost for character like Yanni is cheaper because you only have one weapon slot, which is the stuff. So, yep. So definitely is not that friendly for new players and as you can see the cost um, is increased from 23,000 to 28 and 33 and it jumps to 400,000 so it's not 33 but um, it's 200,000 to 300,000 and end with 400,000 and this is only for like one item, so characters you have one, two, three, four, five. You need to do this for five times for each character, so you can imagine the cost. I will not do the cal calculations. You guys will, will do the math. So yep. And moving to the final, we'll be checking out some things that's been released. So all right, the super Aniki lucky draw items for this month will be. The skin for Elma 2.0 aka the Bring of Light. So yep, this is her pirate skin and Okay, I gotta admit it's not that worth it. Um because all the skins look the same that there's not much changes unlike characters like Nani Nani Sherry so yep however the skin looks nice and you can see it brings out more of her figures yep but if you ask me whether you should be spending more crystal on this character personally I feel it is not that worth it but if you're a fan of the bring of light Sure, why not? So let's check it again. So yep, um, I changed my mind. I'm definitely good at getting it. Um, because getting this skin, you'll see much more jiggles effects. Hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, there's the one I'm waiting for. And then we have the marketplace. Not only, definitely, this will come during the anniversary period. You get a wish for your items and your heroes. Then we have some quests. The number of crystal you scan, um, spend this time around, we'll be getting the swimsuit, which is our anniversary skin for Liana. And again, sadly, all skin types are the same. However, uh, this is definitely worth it. And just a sick joke for, for you guys. Something is rising and it's not the shield heroes. And we'll see how she moves. That is pretty cool. I like, I like this swan. Is this a swan or a crane? I'll definitely go with a flamingo. A flamingo head with this... Um, float she's wearing and the effect is kind of nice so let's see the jiggles effects alright come on come on you know that's not what I won. Alright, shut up and take my money when this come out in SAA. I'm definitely gonna spend for it. The reason I'm not spending because um like my previous video said this character 
currently it's not that strong and okay and we will have this floating city big event um a lot of your items output will be increased by 30 percent and plus three to your wishing machine Then you get to get more Goddess of Light, Aniki, Angelicas, and also um, it's already over, but we have Swimsuit Skin Release and also Dava Gate of Fate. And for the month of August, SP Burn Heart. And anniversary event items you're getting. So Wet Ham and Awakeness Banner comes out okay new building items and okay how can we miss out the echo of light skin so this is for apotheosis getting a clearer view from here <laughs> Um, some say it's nice, some say it's not, and how can we miss Jack, Captain Jack, his skin, so this Captain Jack. Yeah, apparently it's very nice, uh, this is definitely worth it, as you can see compared to um, Abatosis. AKA the God Descender. Um, it's fixed. It's fixed for all class, despite he has demon and flying. But for Captain Jack, we have infantry and aqua unit. So it's pretty cool to see him have two modes of skin. It's very nice. And compared to the previous usual um, choosing two out of six, now we can choose two out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You can choose two out of twelve skins. So it's pretty good. Such improvement from the on itself. So um, apparently there has been some dark secret that has been, I, I feel it's like a dark secret leaking out regarding the casting for level 6 to 10 which I will present you guys on next part of the video and also I will do a video about um, spoilers regarding the ending of 5.0 So if you guys don't want spoilers you can skip that videos and also some discussion video about the future of language uh, um, and I guess we have come to the end. So that's it. Thank you guys. And hope you guys like it. Remember to like and subscribe. See you guys on the next video. This is Connie. Goodbye.